Alright, welcome back to Acorn Esports against Randy Gaming as we move on to our second map, Border. With Randy Gaming on the attack first, I am joined by the CMR Cody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and we will hop right in the border here. The first match going very closely in favor of Acorn Esports. I expect nothing less except the same here as Border is also a very close very close map, very even map. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> um some Good luck. Technical difficulties. Good luck, have fun, Let's go out in the chat. Caliburn bringing the Capkin for the Armory Archives defense. Very interesting. Defenders, protect your bombs by that. I think we might see a very simple setup here. It looks like they will reinforce fountain maybe setting up a mirror window in there the drones will come in start scouting out the area we'll see the mirror we'll see the bandit probably Schroeder gonna be setting up that Nope. It looks like he'll hold on to his mirrors for the second being. Interesting. The attacker's bringing that thermite strongly feels as if they're going to do an armory push, which is something very unorthodox you see on here. Mm-hmm. Now Gatorade's on you the don't see a battery, but Yeah, <sighs> don't see a battery. You don't see any entry denials on defense either. The, Except Bandit. Yeah. The attack bringing that buck. Hopefully one to buck out. Oh. Raided spotting the Valkyrie. Going for that quick peek there. We'll see his drug get taken out. Kill up brisket, throwing down the claymore to deny the run out. Looks as if Captain will be spotted. Alert his team of that. Von Slacken going in, taking control of East Stairs. We'll get one camera. We'll get the second. He'll run into the Captain trap. Poor droning on the part, his part. Now rated playing here in Passport. And half the round expired. Thermite up there on the balcony all alone. I think he jumped down because of the bandit. Yeah, rated really has to rotate around and get under there to deny that. But it looks like he's worried about that roaming Valkyrie downstairs who is pretty much just denied and kept falling back. The Jaeger of Cyber Squirrels will get lit up here as he plays a break room. Dokabee's first call will go off as Agnitrix plays on the balcony outside of Customs. The run out being prepped. Nope. Buck just going inside. And he's gonna. Oh, oh my goodness. To the floor. He gets lit up. Yeah, Bandit getting tagged there, about 25 HP. McSkillet, Biscuit, and Cyber Squirrels, very low HP, as the push needs to happen here in the last 30 seconds of the round. Last line goes off. And the push is still not coming out. What is going on? 15 seconds, no one is dead. And the push needs to happen in the next 10 seconds. The Valkyrie gets killed, but so does the line. He has used all his E1Ds. As the thermite frags on the one. Gonna light up mirror, oh gets my the headshot goodness. on mirror. 
The plane will start to go down. Wall. Cyber has to go and get it. He won't see one. He'll get killed. Oh my goodness. Too much happening, man. Just a thrown round there by the defense. They had everything going for them. And they just lost their gunfights, pretty much. That will put up one advantage in Randy Gaming. Some last second operator changes coming out here. As it looks like Randy Gaming will he opt to go downstairs for the ventilation workshop defense, possibly throwing a curveball in the strategy of Acorn Gaming. Very interesting. As it looks like we'll see a pretty basic mirror setup here. Randy up top. He'll have a little trouble getting drum but he will get it and it looks like they'll go to reinforce the hatches Von Slacken on that vigil very good at denying and wasting time which it seems neither team really has a very good how would you say it um, roam clear both teams wasting a lot of time on the roamers Now some very basic armory holes set up as they've set up a bandit up top too to help them with that. And it, Over half their team playing top floor. And it looks like the mirror will also set up here too. Very a lot of in this top floor top floor hold. Adding tricks on the echo here. The buck going for a quick peek here. See if he pick any heads early on. He will tag Dang, the bandit it. through the wall. Oh, looks like bandit's going up for that cheeky angle on archives. Possibly trying to spot anyone that might be around from that hallway. A lot of emphasis being put up on this top floor hold as he Agni tricks will even bring the echo drone upstairs to help about a minute has been wasted and all they have to oh, go for the plant right now oh my goodness Does he get it off there might get off, yeah. gets the wall and the banner will be traded for the buck oh cyber will pick off on slack and Angle you should be peeking there. Very ill advised. And now, four to three favor in the attack direction. Schuster will be droning out for his team. He will see no one playing on that mirror window downstairs. I don't think he sees the mirror up on the hatch. And he won't see the echo either. He will see the mirror. Call that out to his team. He will actually ping it for him. Interestingly enough, thirty. That was seconds. a lot of manpower and resources that were devoted to up top and just yep. ultimately. They still think one's playing behind half wall. Yeah. I don't know if they even have a drone to contest it or. Twenty seconds left, and the push needs to come now. The smoke's coming out. And the C4 use early. Oh, the Yingle go down. 3v3. Push coming down. He, McSkilla Biscuit being detected. Oh, the plane coming down. And the attackers win. Cleaning up very nicely there in the last 20 seconds.
And I'm wondering if we'll see what we saw on Oregon, where the attack wins the first couple rounds, but then the defense starts to get a hang of the other person's strategy and starts adapting it to it. Interesting choice here by Von Schlacken to bring the sledge almost as if he's anticipating a ventilation defense. But he could also be also be bringing that for the frag grenade capability. Playing a frag grenade down those exit hallway stairs to take out that mirror above could be a very viable strategy for him as they do not bring a buck this time. And here we have a Kavera being played. Very interesting to say none the least. She'll be opening up some rotates for her self. But um interesting to see how this Kavera plays out. Maybe trying to pick off one of those players entering by themselves, as we have seen happen. So maybe pick off that Ash that likes to run in by herself. Well, it looks like Ash will stick near her team right now. We'll see that half wall mirror. Oh, Agni having a little bit of trouble. Gator trying to get that kill on him. But Agni will back up very smartly. Now Gator playing along the east stairs. One's pushing in through armory, I think. One slacking downstairs. Oh, the mural start. The oh, Valkyrie man. shots and takes out him. Oh, the Ashen Gatorades. Fight will be coming out, and McSkilla Biscuit comes in above to get the kill. McSkilla Biscuit picking up a second onto Cyber. Cyber going for that refrag in the eyes. As only a minute 47 has. Only a minute has transpired, and two picks already for Randy Gaming. And it looks like they'll drone out CCTV. See, no one's there. Agnitrix setting up here on the balcony. Getting information for his team as Schroeder will play in box. Now this Cavera on the deep roam. It doesn't look like... Oh, sh this could be... Oh, she will down one! She'll get the lion... And Caliburn will pick up a second. That's 52 seconds here. And here comes the push, it almost looks like. Pushing all by himself. Caliburn almost suspecting it. He'll see the one, and Agnitrix will take him out. And now a 1v4. As it's all up to the Kavera. Oh, she'll get the one! Going for the interrogation. Going for the interrogations. Agni Tricks will get the diffuser. As the interrogation goes off, it is a 1v1 nation here. And he'll just start paddling away at it. Agni Tricks on his drone, what are you doing? The diffuser <laughs> will get diffused! Oh my goodness! Agnitrix! Oh my goodness! And the defense will find its first win here by the grace of a Cavera. <laughs> that Cavera definitely pulling our weight there, getting two picks. And a diffuse. As rated 
and Randy Gaming will pull out a Cavera themselves. Interesting strategy here. As I don't see Border being too much of a Rome-friendly map, honestly. Oh yeah? It's very much a lot of anchoring on this upstairs defense. But it can be done if you play down in customs and around that ventilation area. You could get some easy picks. Now. Acorn Esports bringing the Ying here. As well as the Thermite and Thatcher. Very common. Randy Gaming not bringing a bandit or a mute to stop them. This could be very bad for them if they decide to push. They're going to have to heavy re heavily rely on those mirrors. Definitely. Opening up that CCTV wall, very nice to get a good line of sight in there. A little bit of misplay there by Cyber Squirrels. Some droning will start to come out as they look to drone out CCTV first. He will see that it is clear and we'll get the vigil markers popping up. This might stall it out for a few seconds as Vaughn is playing downstairs in that customs area looking for an easy pick. The mirror out there trying to challenge one of the thermite and then the dokabi. Oh, if mirror can get thermite, this would be huge. This would be amazing. Thatcher running in, ill advised, but he will pick off Big Skill of Biscuit, and the wall will be blown. It looks like the armory push is coming here very soon. The Cavera dead by Cyber Squirrels as Cyber is pushing on by himself near customs and ventilation. Now the smoke will pick one, but will get refragged on by the Thatcher. Thatcher at about 5 HP. And it looks like the plant... Where's the diffuser? Rook, looking to push. Gets taken down. 1v4 situation here for Von Schlack. He will have to clutch this out. But the diffuser's outside downstairs! Gatorades will pick up the diffuser and it looks like they will go for the push, but it doesn't matter as Cyber Squirrels will get the final kill onto Von Schlacken. A very aggressive push on the armory door there, as the Thatcher didn't even wait for Thermite to blow the charge before running in. Just a complete whiff there on McSkilla Biscuit's part. As the Mira. Interesting operator choice here, as we will see a Jackal, Blitz, and Finca on the attack side. This is squaring up to be in a, a very aggressive team on attack. Yes. And it looks like this will rely heavily on the fragging potential of them and a roam clearance. As Jackal is very good at his own and trying to clear out those roamers with that C7E of his. Very powerful gun. Now Gatorades will chase a drone down. And he won't get it. <laughs> and doesn't get the pick. <laughs> Be interesting where he sets up these black eyes. He's already set up two of them. Wonder if he'll try and use that last one to get it outside. Some basic reinforcing being done here. It's Gatorades will get that drone outside. And will throw the camera out to up top. He might go for an early pick. 
There's no way to be certain. Spots them grappling on balcony. Oh, spots oh. the one! The C4 will come out! And it'll do no damage. A lot of emphasis being put upstairs here, again! The Blitz are raided, looking to go upstairs for the Rome clearance. Line already upstairs. And it looks like I will start to drone them in. Looks like they'll go for CCTV control. The first Finca boost will come out. Pretty early in the round. Now they will start to push into armory. Oh, they will corner one. Oh, he'll get lit up! Oh. And that's one. Will the Valkyrie refrag sitting in offices? There's three of them upstairs as Jaeger goes to start fighting. He will pop the line, but the line won't die. As the Thermite will refrag on the Cyber Squirrels. The Valkyrie playing it slowly here. Oh, how close you are, Valk. Falk has to hear Blitz. Absolutely has to. Caliburn playing that one hatch. Popping last lion. Oh! The bandits get the will pick. get the pick! As the Valk will challenge and get the double kill onto the Thermite and Blitz. Down to 2v2. 2v2 here. Oh, Finka pushing. Oh, Finka pushing! Valk one shot. Valk one shot. Won't Trying to get the pick on Finka. Finka oh, Valk is taking that with a pistol. pistol. The d here picking off that Valkyrie. As now it's a 2v1. Caliburn in a clutch situation here with less than 20 seconds left. The diffuser down in his sights. Sphincter did lose a bit of health in that engagement and is not. And oh. Vaughn <laughs> will pick up the final kill. Oh, what are you doing, oh. Doc? Why would you... Oh, my goodness. A very ill You can hear those footsteps from a mile away. Trying to get the flink with the three-armor Doc. Not... Two... I don't know what the good word is for it. Uh, you just shouldn't do it. It's very ill-advised. Too risky. You had Diffuser down in sight. They had to come to you. Just a big misplay there by Caliburn. And now it'll send us 3-2 with Randy Gaming going on the defense. No Mira in the play this round. Very interesting. As the Cavero will be pulled out yet again. Agnitrix on the Cavera this time, using the Suppress M12. Just it's looking for drones right now. Some nice will come out in the chat. And it looks like the Vigil will be setting up the play in security. Would be an interesting early pick if he can get it. Valkyams getting thrown out here. It looks like some pretty ordinary Valkyams will get thrown. Nice Valkyam set up here by Von Schlacken. Still has one more to play with whenever he wants. Vera playing in that main hallway. We'll get the one drone. As they slowly start to start their push. It looks like they'll come from the south side here. A very simple CCTV take. Now rated playing here in Tellers. Peeking the window. Oh, he'll see the hand of one.
No, a minute has been already wasted, and what did the attackers have to show for it? Just about CCTV control, and they also take out the bandit. A huge pick early on. That's no bandit tricking. As the Thatcher will pick off another through the hole. That is the smoke. That is a huge pick early on. Smoke's off the table, and he will see the Valkyrie too. Fire some shots through the wall. Valkyrie killed by the Thermite! And now is a... T oh! Just absolutely shredded there as the crossfire was set up. Rated having no shot, and now it's a 1v5 situation. Very on the flank, but is seen and taken down. The crossfire set up beautifully as a flawless round comes out from Acorn Esports. And now we move on to match point. With Acorn Esports on the defense, all they have to do is win one more to take this to map. Or no, this will close it out here if they win right now. Randy Gaming put on the back burner here. On their back foot. <laughs> Pretty typical setups. Pulled out here from both teams. Agnitrix on the Dokabi. Something both teams have seemed to enjoy here. But. Could work. It has been useful in those last second pushes sometimes. Especially on Oregon. See Vaughn pulling out Sludge again, hoping to be up there, blowing out that wall from above, or that floor from above, just wreaking havoc on the defenders down below. Have of a bomb. Looks like Gatorids will set up a mirror window here up in pillbox. Very wise not to put it on that wall there, so he can you can easily fall back without risking too much. Now everyone's spawning in different locations. And it looks like they'll come from archives to try and clear out those roamers up top. Skillabisk is shooting out the door, pushing very hard. I don't even think they checked their fountain yet. Oh. Shoot some walls. Very close. Bad, yeah. Very close. We'll get droned out there. Oh, McSkillabiscuit getting the mirror window. Lights oh, up Gatorade. hits Mira's one shot. She might have to drop down and rotate. Rated picking off the dock. Oh my goodness, that's the only Smoke healing. Rated. Oh, going for the foothold. Oh, he misses the shots. Vaughn Mira picking off down. another. Here comes the grenade. This bag just might do it. Oh, it looks like it damages him a little. Caliburn put in the 1v5 situation. And it will freeze for a second. And the push coming in here really close. We'll get one. And McSkillet Biscuit will clean it up as Randy Gaming survives for another round. Still on map, as we have had a very even contest so far. Both teams fairly even here. Schroeder for Acorn Esports, not necessarily pulling his weight, but still not dropping a donut. Interesting to see we bring out the Capital here and the IQ. Focusing very heavily on destroying those gadgets. And this screams a plant team right here. 
Not too much bragging potential. But a lot, a lot of, what do you say it, utility that you can use in aiding you for a plan. But those Capital Smokes are the only Smokes on their team right now. So an early pick on Capital could be game-changing. Skillabisking opening up that CCTV area. I need to pick up his ADS and relocate it, it seems, to that armory wall. Interesting. Cyber Squirrels. Oh! Oh, almost gets the picks to the wall. Still hasn't used any of his line. No E1 to use popped off just yet. Still only a minute into the round. McSkill Biscuit going around, picking off that Thatcher. That is huge! They're gonna have to take out that Mew Jammer even. Skill Biscuit looking to peek here. Ill advice, he'll get another! Halfway gets taken. Throw to C4, no! Ill advice, there is the line had the angle set up. That's a mere outplay, but taking down two very crucial operators there. They'll still get that wall open, the mute not getting back in time to put another jammer down. But that's the smokes out of the way. Cyber picking up another kill, holding that long angle. Oh, and here comes the clip. Oh, the miss grenade. Gatorades will pick up another. And now it's in a 2v3 situation. 2v2 situation! Now in a 1v2 situation here. Oh, he'll Hold pick up the pistol. mute! C1. Oh, he wants in the other! This is for oh, all the my pistol. Goodness. Very ill-advised here for the IQ to challenge us. She could have just simply rotated out and went to a different site to plant. Just... Very... Well coordinated by the defense here. Getting the two early picks on the Capital and Thatcher takes a lot of utility off the table early on. They were somehow able to pull it to overtime. <laughs> Very much so. Coming down from a 2-4 defi deficit. And now we head into overtime. And map number two, border. Best of three. If we do see a Randy Gaming win here, we will head to consulate as our decider map. And as it looks right here, this is a very even competition that could go both ways. Now, Caliburn on the dock here seems to favor that ACOG for playing those long angles. Almost ill-advised because you don't bring a mute or a bandit for any denial. That just allows Randy Gaming to open the walls with no real repercussions. They don't have to worry about any mute jammers. They don't have to worry about any bandit charges. And it looks like Caliburn struggling a little bit here with his deployable shield. We'll get a setup in the correct spot. 
And it seems like Randy knows that. They, they didn't bring any utility to deal with any of those. Yeah, it seems they have read into the strategy here. Going with, I think, the same line that the past two times. Still yeah. bringing the Dokabi, interestingly enough. Without getting a nice camera outside there. We'll see the Dokabi playing all the way out back on that balcony. Cyber Squirrel's picking on McSkillet Biscuit early. A huge kill there as the line out of play. Now Cyber will be lit up about half HP. Oh, oh very close to a confrontation. He will throw a Puree Fire down. Oh, Cyber running away, getting away with his life, lighting up the ash to about 10 HP. She'll repel back up. Might look for a reset here, but I don't think there's enough time for him. Everyone's going to go and turn off their phones as Dokubi gives them a ring. Cyber's still playing that angle. He'll be droned out. And he'll retreat back to that Mira smartly. Oh, Agni tricks. Oh my goodness! A beautiful kill there. As Kavera anchoring on the site. Sludge taking some heat. Sludge fighting that Jaeger again. As that Valk will come in for the kill. 2v5 situation here. As... Oh. And two quick frags there for the... the as the Kavera and the Jaeger are out of play, but that is not a lot lost. They still have the Dock, they still have the Mira. Oh, so the Mira whew, takes the out Mira one. Mira barely gets the pick on him. One HP. Rated will have to clutch this on about five HP in order to give him. Going for the fuse right now. Doc healing up the Mira. That Mira right there is going to be crucial. It is. Playing that mirror right now. He'll hop in through. Oh, what is he doing? He saw the Valkyrie! What are you doing? Oh my goodness! Oh, through the wall! The shotgun kill through the wall, reading into it perfectly. And now we are pushed on a match point once again for Acorn Esports. Can they close it out here, or will we go even further? Very typical lineups to each team now. Bringing the Kappa again, but also following up with the Ying. More smokes on the table, more blinding potential. Going back up the ventilation there. Definitely the preferred side here. Definitely easier to hold. Miras once again in pillbox. Looking onto that wall. Oh, they will go for a double Mira setup here on the armory side. Attack and read into us and just push that archive side, they will have a much easier time getting the plan off. Looks like they'll go for a push once again. Skillet Biscuit playing again on that Mira. She'll be low, get some get a knock on the pucks. Very ill advised to challenge this angle. He hasn't even used an EMP yet. 
playing it very finicky. This has happened over the last few rounds, and they don't seem to be able to adapt. Just bashing your head into a wall over and over again. He'll get the EMP off as McSkillet Biscuit will frag onto the Capital. Putting down some suppressing fire for to get the thermite off. We'll be smoked out. It She'll goes off. It. <laughs> oh, Mira lit up to about half HP. The diffuser down. We are in a tight spot here, as she has all the attackers focus on her. Smoke canister will come out about a minute and a half into the round, as Agnitrix will frag on to the lion huge early on. Gatorade's playing that thermite, playing that wall. Spawn will pick up another. Gator gonna go push that hallway. Pick up Cyber in 1v4 situation. We'll have to clutch it. There's a claymore on that door that he's peeking. And McSkillabiscuit comes around for the quick peek. And here we go, once again, in the round 11. A very even contest so far here on both Oregon and now Border. I would very much like to see a map 3 come out of this. For the customs. Whoa, we are going to see a custom supply room defense brought out here for the final round. Definitely a curveball in the plans of Randy Gaming. And the cab coming out once again. Very interesting. Giving us a little flick as he opens some walls. Gatorade's going around setting up his entry denial devices. Now this could very much go in the way of Randy Gaming, as custom defenses are generally your third pick, and not a very viable site unless you bring that Mira setup, which Acorn Esports have opted out of doing. Set up the Claymore on that very common run out there, as one will be playing in that ventilation area. It looks like that Cav. Oh. He'll hear uh, the claymore he sees out. The claymore. <laughs> Call the claymore out. He'll rotate around. Give him a little banter and chat. And he'll rotate around the bathroom. Now a minute has transpired. And yet they have nothing to show for it. The buck not even playing around there. Unable to take care of those bandit charges. Oh, they might try to get a grenade through there. She might try and smack this hammer and throw a grenade through it. And it looks exactly like that'll happen. No ADS is set up there, but the grenade will miss! And I'll try once more. And then the grenade will miss again! <laughs> what are you doing, Von Schlacken? Oh! They might have to bring Buck around to try and grenade it. They seem to be spending too much time on that. Now two minutes have transpired and all you have to show for is security control. This is looking very good in the eyes of Acorn Gaming.
Schroeder will be spotted here by the EE1D. And the plant's already going off! They've just failed to watch it. One kill will go out. As they have to retake. Wasting a lot of time here. They have to push very soon. We'll get lit up by one. He doesn't know where it's from! Raider will pick up one more kill. And he'll start typing away at the diffuser. Acorn Esports will win it! With a defuse in the last round! The attack not able to hold on to the bomb! Very closely going into the hands of Acorn Gaming as they will take a 2 nothing win over Randy Gaming. Uh, very close, once again. <laughs> that surprises me how close it is. Really could have gone either way. Biscuit! <laughs> Taking the lead on the team. It was quite the setup. Quite the push. Yovan, the, dude. The plant went down without hesitation. And just dismantled by the defense. A good push there. Poor timings on the E1Ds. Could have used them better. Could have used your claymores better. But I think most importantly, not getting that frag grenade bandit charges and not opening up that wall cost him dearly it did i it did it cut off rotations the thermite could do nothing about it and well it's the little things like that to cost you rounds but a very even contest could have gone either way for both teams with acorn esports coming out on top of the two nothing victory both playing very similarly, uh, referring to the Mira. It's just one team uh, played with uh, entry denial systems and one did not, like uh, so. Bandit and Mute. As Randy Gaming chose to go without the Mute or Bandit on a lot of their defense rounds, and it cost them as Acorn Esports read into that and only started bringing Thermites. They didn't bring anything to counter that because they knew they weren't playing it. Yeah. Instead of uh, the Thatcher pick, they picked um, Capital. Brought Capital for the smokes and asphyxiating bolts. And it was quite exciting. I Capital didn't come into play very much. They kept picking them off very early. <laughs> it was quite the match, I have to say. And, well, from Desurrection and CMR Cody, thank you for watching. We'll be back next week with some more Rainbow Six Meme League.